The whole sky was lit up with a dark green light. Every cloud, every pebble, every piece of glass. Everything turned green, covering half the city. Ordinary people who were nearby turned into pools of blood and flesh, and those who were a little further away died after a while. And Kyan Liu, her legs were grazed by the radiation at the very edge. Kyan Kang said, recalling the horror of that day, Kyan Liu has a talent with swords, and in elementary school, she could even take down an adult with a wooden sword. Everyone around them thought that Kyan Liu would also become a level 5 warrior like his father, and maybe even stronger. Dad said it was like Kyan Liu was born with a sword. But because of this monster, now she has to be treated by top-level professionals. Otherwise, the radiation will spread, and eventually she will die, too. I gave up the melee profession that my dad had, and instead chose the healer profession with the highest survival rate. Kian Kian said. Zio listened carefully to her story and thought after all, the great demon was dealt with when I was recalled from the front line. Although it was destroyed in a single strike, it still ran rampant for about 10 hours. Dot dot dot. Such a weak monster could really affect ordinary people a lot, which is why I hate monsters so much. But after the incident with the great demon, I, that is, Musk agreed with the government to issue money to each victim. In a situation like this, you shouldn't have been reimbursed, should you? Zio asked. This, was this the case? Kang Kang was surprised, but then she just wiped a tear from her eyes. Ah, oh, I did. And now I feel much better, as if a stone has been lifted from my soul. Come on, we should get back. Kang Kang stood up from the bench and added with a smile. Didn't you say that I make delicious rice? I think it's time to show my real level. The two young men walked towards the house along a small alley. Two guys in formal suits were walking past them. Can you really find that secret parasite here? One of them asked. Based on the analysis of the chapter, if the fraudster starts selling stolen goods, then this place will be the most suitable. In addition, colleagues have already gone to explore all the underground retail outlets. Let's go, we must definitely find him. The second one answered. Kiang, Kiang house. Kian Lu was in the kitchen, pouring herself a glass of water. These couch troops really piss me off. Wait till I take a sip of water and spit you all up. She was angry at the regular commenters on the internet. Suddenly, there was a commotion from the street, someone breaking through the gate. Who is there hammering? It doesn't seem like a sister. Can it be that the stranger who lives in our house? The girl was surprised. These are representatives of Kaijong Investment Company, shouted from the street. The girl was very frightened. Outside, everyone was pounding on the gate, and Kian Lu froze in horror. She picked up her wooden sword and rolled towards the gate holding it in front of her with both hands. Suddenly the gate was kicked out. The burglars turned out to be Tujin, who had recently escaped from Zio and several other thugs. I knew someone was here. Hey, is that you, the little invalid? The man said when he saw the girl in the wheelchair. Hey, flawed, do you want to stop me with that childish wooden sword? He laughed at her. Kiang Lu was shaking with a mixture of anger and fear. You freak. The girl shouted and swung her sword, but missed and fell to the ground. You freak. The brute. Kian Lu cursed out of injustice and helplessness. Wow, that was powerful. The man commented on her attack. Then he stepped on the wooden sword with his foot and contemptuously looked down at the girl and said, You want to cut me up? I'm standing on my own two feet, and you little invalid want to cut me down. The man turned to his subordinates. Search this place and find me those two, especially that asshole who dared to interfere with our squad. I'll show him what happens when you insult respectable people. He ordered and about 10 people with bats broke into the house. Got it. They obeyed orders. They smashed everything in each of the rooms as they searched for Zio and Kiang Kiang. Commander, we've searched all the rooms. They're nowhere to be found. They've definitely gone somewhere. The wards reported. Damn, we're late. But we won't lose either. Take this garbage with you. They've trapped themselves. The commander replied, gloating over the girl. I'll kill you, you freak. I'll kill you, said Kian Lu angrily. See commander, you can't do that, it's a kidnapping. If there's a lot of hype, one of the thugs warned. Yeah, that's right, too. But if we just leave, they won't learn anything. Well, I see you're interested in this case, so I'll give you an assignment. He said to one of his charges. I'm listening, commander. He said with a smile. Keep your keys, wait in the car. When they come, you'll drive your car into the yard. This is just a minor accident, a problem with the car. And inside the car are gifts in the form of bags of garbage from all over the area. After all, we are law-abiding citizens. The man laughed viciously as he handed over the keys. Understood, commander. The thug said and left. Heavy rain began to fall. Clouds gathered over Da City. King Kang held a small handkerchief over her head as she ran with Zio towards the house. Hurry up, Zio Q. We need to get home soon. She said to her friend. Yeah, no, he said. 
After a while, when Kang Kang got closer to her house, she saw the broken gate and her sister lying on the ground. The creatures, you are finished creatures, Tian Lu repeated as she lay on the ground. Tian Lu, Kang Kang ran to her sister and picked her up from the ground. Zio helped set up the wheelchair. These are the Kaijong Company's people. Bastards, my sister said. Let's go inside and you can tell me everything. Zio Q, please roll Kian Lu into the room, and I'll quickly pick up the things from the courtyard, otherwise it will be useless. Kang Kang asked as she sat her sister down in a chair. Okay, Zio replied and was already turning towards the door. Suddenly, Zio and Kian Lu heard a crash. They quickly turned around and saw a pile of trash piled on top of Kang Kang. Ouch, is this Miss Yan's house? Sorry, I don't know how I managed to dump all the garbage here. Although it's a good thing that it's raining now, you'll just be able to get a good wash. This is your first gift from our Kaijong company. The thug said and drove off in a garbage truck. Kang Kang was still standing in the middle of the trash in the rain. My sister, Kai and Lu started to drive up to her, but Zio stopped her. The girl begged, but Zio was adamant. Let her figure it out for herself. If you go there, you'll only make it worse, Zio said. The older sister turned and walked into the house without a word. She was crying and broken. Zio and Kai and Lu were still standing in the courtyard under a small awning. Raindrops beat against the roof of the house. The first person to break the silence was a girl. But why? Why it's like this? Can you explain it to me? Tell me, is there any justice in this world at all? She asked the guy. I've never met him. No, he said. And there won't be any in the future. No, I said. An honesty, it should be there, right? Don't all the great people of this world want to create an honest world? The girl did not calm down. Your worldview is false, and your ideals are false. Even this rain pours on everyone differently. It pours both on the poor poor and on dishonest people. Zio said as he picked up the wooden sword in the girl's hands. This world isn't fair in itself. So stand in the rain of this unfair world. Also unfair. He clenched his fist and crushed the sword with one hand. The girl began to cry loudly. Either because of a broken sword or because of an injustice that can't be fought. Do you understand? For me, the problems of your family are not interesting, but at the same time cause pity and sympathy. I wasn't going to interfere with your problems or your unfairness. I have to spend my energy on much more important things. But it turned out that the problems themselves came to me, and this is a real headache. The guy took a step out into the rain. What are you going to do? Kai and Lu asked anxiously as Zio left. Deal with them. The guy answered. Are you crazy? Do you think Kai Jung is a small company? Their thugs are level 3 and 4 professionals, and the head is rumored to have already reached level 5. Don't you think my family's problems are boring? Aren't you afraid of the consequences? Don't go. If you interfere, you're finished. The girl screamed. Yes, really problems and really boring. Only, I've always enjoyed getting rid of boredom. Zio said as he took out a new sword from its scabbard and kill problems, he added fiercely, and the expression on his deathly calm face changed to a more bloodthirsty one. As the clouds gathered, the rain continued to pour down on this horribly unfair world, either trying to wash away all the dirt, or to spite all the suffering souls. One of the tall and prestigious buildings had a brightly lit sign that read Kaijong Investment Company. Several barkers were standing in front of the building. Let's earn a fortune together. May our cooperation be fruitful. The development of this land depends on you. They met an unsuspecting Zio who wanted justice. The place was full of workers. One of them noticed a guy with a sword at the entrance and sighed bitterly. Holy shit, I came to make trouble again. He said to his partner. Heh, as luck would have it, it was during my shift that he decided to arrange problems. The second one answered and both of them went to the entrance. Kid, do you even know what this place is? Put away your weapons. They said to Zio, but the guy walked past them in silence. I told you to stop. One of them said, but a moment later, both guards were hacked apart. A task from the system appeared. Quest, Blood Sacrificial Demonic Sword. The longsword that had reaped countless casualties on the battlefield was once again awakened by blood. But perhaps it was the blood of the demon living in the sword. Mission requirement, destroy all unearthly creatures with the help of Fairy Ya. Reward, Fei will complete the evolution with blood. Four more swordsmen came out of the elevator towards Zio. He's hostile, be careful. Go ahead. One of them commanded, and all four of them attacked Zio. He chopped them down one by one, like a child playing with sand statues. The warriors who arrived after the first group were dumbfounded. Noticing that Zio's sword was stuck in one of the bodies, one of the guards shouted. His sword is stuck, this is a great opportunity. However, this guy was wrong. As soon as he came up from behind, Zio Zio cut him down as well. 
the last thing that flashed through his mind was, he's clearly a weapons pro. Why is the fist stronger than the body system? Zio went on. Meanwhile, three men were sitting in an office on one of the last floors. One of them was the one who had bullied Kai and Lu recently. I'll take over the house of those two sisters in Cheng district soon. Even after suffering so much, they still hold on. Well, then don't blame me for what happens next. However, there are no such incomprehensible people in the world. Ha ha ha. He spoke lightly. Lai Ronki, you still have a lot of things to do. Once you develop this land, it can be sold for a lot of money. The blonde man sitting next to him answered. Then a subordinate burst into the office. Treble. There. There. There's a killer at the entrance. This man caused a massacre in the main hall. Um. Killed a lot of our people. A guy shouted. How many of them are there in total? The blonde man asked. He's alone. The guy answered. How dare one person come here and kill my people? Does he think he has an extra life? The third man in the green jacket shouted indignantly. Ronki was shocked. Our company's people always check their goals in advance. We never touch powerful professionals or people in power dot 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 he thought immediately. Standing up, he said. Let's go take a look. Ronki picked up his axe and dragged it scrabbling on the floor. They rounded the corner and heard shouts from the landing. Huh? Said Rongzi, surprised. A guy was standing on the stairs, begging someone to look down. Please don't kill me, I'm begging you. Stop it, he shouted, but in the same second he was cut to pieces. Zio came up the stairs. His murderous gaze sent both Director Ronki and his entourage into a stupor. What are you afraid of? We are level 4 professionals. Let's throw him out together, bullshit question. Ronki said. Yes, that's right. The blonde replied and everyone prepared their attacks. The blonde man was hoarding ice magic in his hand. Ronki was holding his magic axe, and the guy in the green jacket was pointing the barrel. Level 4 professionals. Zio asked, What? Scary. If you turn yourself in, we won't touch your corpse. To be honest, I still don't understand why you decided to become an enemy of our company. Ronki said, Chief, he's Yong Kang Kang's new friend. It was from him that our guys suffered then. The guy in the jacket said, So it's him. Head Ronki replied, Since there are three level 4 professionals here, it will be difficult for me to maintain my human form. Zio said and turned off the light with the tip of his sword. It became dark. What's he going to do? The head asked, probably trying to surprise us in the dark. Aren't there thugs and stalkers who get stronger in the dark? The guy in the jacket asked, then added, But, in the dark, I am a god. Dark vision activation. Thanks to this ability, I can see in the dark as well as in the daytime. The guy activated his night vision and saw the appearance of a monster in front of him. Huh? What is it? A monster. Stop it. He shouted. Seeing such a picture, the guy lost his composure and did not have time to recover from fear as he was already hit by a demonic sword. Joseph, what's the matter? The chief shouted. The smell of blood. Is he hurt? Or dead? Thought the head. Joseph's body fell to the ground, spreading blood. Lightning flashed, briefly illuminating the hallway. This was enough for the headmaster to see the monster and be able to deflect its attack with his sword. If I don't have time to react, I will die from this sword. He was horrified. Ice arrow art. The blonde man directed an attack at Zio. The monster only stretched out one arm and smashed a huge block of ice. He looked in the direction of the attacker and in an instant, he was dead. What? What's that sound? The head was shaking with fear. Lightning flashed lighting up the room and the head saw a huge monster. A second passed before he realized what had happened. Holy shit. The headman only managed to shout before his head separated from his body. Faye's sword awakened by a drop of blood. Several guards with swords heard the screams and stood in the darkness. What the hell is this? One of them said after seeing the monster's I.O. Before the guards could blink, they were already dead. Suddenly, someone turned to the monster itself and shouted loudly. Enough. That someone was the president of the corporation. The man was standing with a sword on the ledge of the stairs. Zio sniffed the air. A level 6 professional. He realized immediately. The man with the sword was also studying his opponent. A monster. No, it's something else. I don't feel the characteristic aura of insanity. Is it a professional with a modified system? No. Also not the same. A professional with a modified system will not emit such a demonic aura when turning into a monster. He thought. You're the only person in the world who's capable of being in a state between a monster and a human. If you are sold on the black market, you can fully compensate for all the damage you have caused. The man began to say going down the stairs. I can't be wrong. This is a real monster. He thought. It doesn't matter if you're a monster or a human. However, you were very unlucky to cross paths with me, said the head of the corporation. The damage you've caused today may be very upsetting to the bigwigs behind me, but such an extraordinary find. 
definitely enjoy the bosses who are trying to cross a human and a monster to find a new life. The head decided and immediately used the technique. Greater than I will attack in the head. The head decided. However, the attack was not successful and only grazed the monster's face slightly. It's not for nothing that it's a humanoid monster. Its attack speed is very fast. He was even able to dodge my attack. I've already figured out your maximum, too. The headman said and started to launch attacks one after another. It grazed Zio in various parts of her body, even if the freak is as tough as a cockroach. But this technique, it won't be so obvious. He launched a direct attack that Zio easily dodged. I tricked you, he thought, and with his other hand, he pulled out a revolver and shot Zio right in the head at close range. In many years of fighting, this technique has never failed me. That short distance was enough to blow half his face off. I wish I could catch this new monster alive, but I think even his corpse will be very valuable, thought the head of the corporation, confident of his victory. However, the smoke from the shot dispersed and the man saw that Zio was not injured in any way. The monster's face, with its glowing scarlet eyes showing no emotion, was untouched. The man was taken aback by this combination of circumstances. How is this even possible? He thought, so close, there's no point in hiding anymore. The only explanation for all this is that he anticipated my shot. The man decided and asked, how did you know? 19 rapiers. To be able to hone the 19 rapier technique to such an extent with your level is quite a feat, Zio replied. These swordsmanship skills are designed by me specifically for rapiers. They are simple and easy to learn, and with advanced training, all sorts of changes occur. They are characterized by high speed, damage and evasion allows you to kill an entire army without taking a single damage. Zio thought about the opponent's technique. However, when I created these techniques, I established the rules of justice. Didn't you learn that when you studied them? Zio asked the head. What are you talking about, monster? Are you crazy? This technique was also created by Musk. It means that it can only be used in the name of justice. Isn't it fair to destroy monsters like you? Stop it. The frantic man shouted. A monster? Me? Well I do not know. What about those people you ruined, were they also unjust? Zio asked. I don't know what plot of land our company took that you're the owner of. I'm not interested in why you're here, so get out of here. But there's one thing you should know, monster. Human society is continuously evolving, and anyone who will interfere with the world will move forward. It doesn't matter if it's a monster or a human, it's still a punishment. This is an injustice, and I will always stand on the side of justice. This justice, which you, monster, will never understand. The man shouted furiously and immediately charged at the monster. That's how it is, so that's how fair you are. Zio replied. From behind his back, eight sharp limbs sprouted out and headed towards the man. The man dodged the first attack. What the fuck? He started to say, but couldn't avoid the second one. Sharp limbs sank into his body and pinned him to the wall. It's a surprise attack. What the hell kind of monster are you anyway? The man said, bleeding profusely, me. Didn't introduce yourself. Zio replied and immediately cut the man apart. I received a notification from the system. Equipment name, Blood Feia. Equipment description, this sword, stained with the blood of a demon, has taken on a new life. A sea of dirty and cursed blood lurks inside him. As long as the blade is in his hands, he will run amok. If the user doesn't need the sword, then it can be placed in the system space and removed at any time. Features. Blood Fae is skill description. By releasing the blood blade, you can easily cut through even the earth's crust. You Fae Is that your current name? Zio asked the awakened blade. There's no change from the outside, though. But when I hold this sword in my hand, it's like I can feel its heartbeat. A magic sword of limitless potential, and I'm a monster of limitless potential. We're perfect for each other. The monster's monologue was interrupted by a subordinate who ran to the boss at the wrong time. The boss is here. He was about to say, but he saw the monster and immediately fell down from fear with screams no. Don't kill me. Go, bloody Faya, said Zio, and the sword struck with such force that it tore a hole in the wall, and the blood of a subordinate who happened to be in the wrong place at the wrong time flowed out. Outside, a special squad of professionals was already waiting for Zio. Commander Jiang, we completely surrounded the Kaijong Company building. All streets, underground sewers are under our control. We can send people to attack at any time. One of the warriors said, wait a minute. First, let's try to persuade them to give up. Find out what's going on inside before making a decision. If we act recklessly, innocent people may die. Commander Jiang replied. He looked like an old commander with white hair, a beard, and a mustache. Despite his age, he was in good physical shape. The commander's uniform fit him perfectly. Ugh, the innocents. I'm afraid there are no innocents in this building. 
but it doesn't matter, it's the responsibility of our federal government to judge them. A person who exceeded their authority, even if they had a million motives, should also be punished. The commander thought, without taking his eyes off the building. The rain hadn't stopped yet, and the situation was tense. Out. One of the warriors said, the human-shaped Zio walked out of the company building. It had the blood of the people he had killed on it. Zio came out and just stood there in the rain. Yang Kang Kang's home. Chiang Kang came out of the bathroom and dried her hair. He went to Kaijong Company alone. Are you out of your mind? You can also die. The girl screamed and grabbed an umbrella and hurried after the guy. Sister, wait. I'll go too. Her little sister shouted after her. However, Kang Kang didn't wait for her. The girl reached the corporation building and seeing the crowd came closer holding her breath. City Army, are you Yang Kang Kang? The soldier asked her. I, did something happen? The girl asked anxiously, we need you on a case. The soldier replied, what's up? What's the deal? The girl asked, do you know this guy? The soldier showed Zio's photo. Seeing a picture of a guy in blood, the girl was scared. Zio Q, what's wrong with him? Is he alive? The girl began to ask, alive? He is not only alive, but even feels great. The soldier replied, special purpose prison of the defense forces. Zio Q was taken to the prison for questioning and further trial. He was sitting in the room, handcuffed. The commander watched him through a special glass. He still won't tell you who he is or where he came from. What is it? He asked the assistant. Yes, sir. Although they confessed to their attack on Kaijong. But the only thing we know about him is his first and last name. His name is Zio Q. We don't have his birth certificate or passport. Nothing that would give us any information about him. He's like, a ghost completely hidden from government surveillance. So, after we started investigating Zio Q, we found out that he is related to a girl named Yong Kang Kang. But when we found it and wanted to take it with us, it was a surprise to us that the Secret Area Inspection Bureau's people were also looking for it. According to reports, the Verification Bureau is looking for a secret thief who can bypass their monitoring and directly enter secret areas. It turns out that this person is Zio Q. The assistant read the report. It's really very mysterious. Who is this Yang Kang Kang? Said the commander. According to our data, Yang Kang Kang is a level 2 professional healer and her father was a level 5 professional. The guy reported. Hey, level 5. The commander was surprised. Yes, previously, he served in the army. But after being wounded, he retired, as his strength was already running out. Initially, according to the political course, he could have served as an administrative official in Da City, but politely declined. And then, a few years later, he died in a battle with a great demon. Yang Kang's younger sister, Yang Kianlu, was also severely injured in the incident. According to the report, when Yang Kang Kang was going through the secret area with her Zhang Gang team, she met Zio Q, who appeared there without an official request. This is consistent with the testimony of the other survivors of the Zhang group. And the reason why Zio Q went to Kaijong for the mass murder was because he heard that this company was going to take over the plot where Yang Kang Kang and Yang Kian Liu live. So he decided to restore justice. The assistant replied, That's how it is. The commander mused. He's like a fierce knight with a sword. Someone who had entered the surveillance room said. The commander turned and said, Head of the department Arthur, come on in. I think we should find out for ourselves, said the boss, looking at his watch. Commander Jiang is a level 7 professional, and department head Arthur is level 6. These two can be said to be the strongest warriors in Da, but it seems that the guy inside ran into some serious trouble, thought the assistant, adjusting his glasses. The glare on the windows prevented others from looking into his eyes more than they should, and almost no one could understand what was going on in this young man's head. The commander-in-chief went into the interrogation room, where Zio Q was locked up, handcuffed. Zio immediately noticed the commander. Is he looking at me like that? M.M. No. He looks at my raincoat. Why, when he looks at that cloak? He looks so nostalgic, the commander thought. Zio Q, given the gravity of your crime, I think you can guess what the final outcome will be. Either you will be sentenced to death, or you will have to repay the crime in full. Once you are listed in the Redemption Squad, you will be sent to the front line with the highest level of danger and mortality. After completing a sufficient number of battles and killing a certain number of monsters, you will be able to atone for your crime and return to normal life. The commander started to say as he sat down in the chair opposite Zio. Even though they say so, once you are listed in the Redemption Squad, no one will be able to return from the battlefield alive. Most of the criminals are killed in the first battle, and in order to return, you need to participate in at least a hundred battles. And for some criminals, this number can be as high as 3,000. 
the commander thought. It turns out, for you, sending someone to the front line with monsters is a punishment. Zio asked, since that's the case, no matter what kind of inhumane crime I've committed, there I can completely purify my soul. Zio thought, judging by your tone, you've been on the front line before. The commander asked, I haven't been much. Zio replied curtly, who are you there for? Were you a soldier who fought monsters? Or did you have a different role? The other one. After this answer, the commander and the chief looked at each other. There aren't many professionals who are qualified to go to the front lines and survive there. All we have to do is compare the photos and we'll know who he is. The commander decided. You might say so. This is luck. The head of the department, Arthur, and I were already on our way to the monster's front lines with the garrison. Said the commander, I have been on the front line for almost 10 years. This may sound arrogant, but I am considered a veteran. More qualified than I am. It can only be the hero mask and the first party who set up this very line of retreat of monsters. Chief Arthur added, This is the order of mask, and I used to fight under its leadership. And then we were just far behind him. They stared at his back, said the commander touching his medals. Since you were on the front line, you probably know that the current peaceful situation is very difficult for us. In a peaceful environment, there are many dangerous moments that are invisible to the eye. Even a slightly unstable place can immediately fall into a deep test, especially Musk's situation with the federal parliament. Arthur lost his temper and started shouting. So you got it, huh? That's your way of avoiding the bureau's monitoring and tricking yourself into entering the dungeon. If anyone found out about this, it would be a real shock to the entire society. Even in the best case, it will cost the lives of many professionals. But more importantly, our usual life will be destroyed, said the boss. Zio was silent even though you have a lot of secrets. But for the federal government, this only means that defeat is not far off. I hope you understand and show some generosity. If you are sent to the federal capital, then no one will talk to you as kindly as me and Chief Arthur, said the commander at the end, and they both left the office. Zaya was left alone, lost in thought. Will they send you to the federal capital? Greater than and I would really like to go back to this place one more time. However, so far, this is unlikely. Zio thought. System notification. Main task, rebirth of the great demon. Task description. Who would have thought that the same great demon a few years ago still hadn't died? The residual radiation that existed in people's bodies was actually the unstable source of the explosion. If you don't clean up everything completely, then over time the demon will recover from this accumulating and increasing radiation. In fact, if all the radiation in people's bodies was immediately cleared when the demon was first killed, then it wouldn't be able to revive. Then why didn't the federal government do it? The respawn time is still 72 hours away. Mission objective, destroy the new elemental great demon. Messiah's award, the heart of the great demon. Great demon monster of the elemental level. The so-called elemental level does not mean that the monster will have a high level of strength. On average, the strongest monster reaches level 13 and the weakest monster reaches level 7 minus 8. In fact, I didn't need a system alert, I already knew that this monster would recover, because all this has already happened in a previous life. Some time after my trial, the demon found one infected professional and used him as a carrier to revive himself. It is like a weed, as long as there is even a drop of infection like ordinary grass, it will be reborn with the first spring breeze. At that time, I had just been sent to the front line after the trial. It immediately began to exterminate the entire daw, working as hard as if it had been stung. Even though it didn't manage to do too much damage, I smashed it in one blow. But even so, I was still heavily criticized. Why are you here so late? As the best hero, shouldn't you have appeared as soon as possible? We gave you such a light punishment, don't you know how to be grateful? Isn't the reason the demon came back again because Musk didn't clean it up well the first time? A lot of people died in the crash again. Musk should apologize. Precisely, Musk should apologize. Waves of condemnation, I was forced to come forward again. And I was tried again and forced to apologize to all the people. And in this life, there is no hero named Musk in this life. Only Zio Q is here. Then what does the life or death of these people have to do with me? Zio thought as he pieced together the memories from his previous life. Meanwhile, Commander and Chief Arthur were talking in the observation room. Arthur lit a cigarette and asked, why were you so nice? He said he'd been on the front line before. I'm many years old, and it's been a long time since I retired. Now you understand the situation on the front line better than I do. I've never seen anyone this old on the front line, and with such ferocious force. Judging by the injuries of those who died at the scene, it has incredible speed and terrifying power. And it looks like he's got plenty. An extraordinary weapon. At least, he's not just a professional. This is double cultivation. 
or even cultivating multiple professions at the same time. The commander replied, glaring at Xio Q, who was sitting behind a thick layer of glass. So he's a genius. Other people spend their entire lives struggling to learn at least one profession and can't always reach even level 6. And he cut off the heads of level 6 professionals at such a young age. Yes, and studies several professional systems at the same time. Arthur breathed out cigarette smoke. A genius. He may be a talent, but he's still an idiot. It's too stupid to waste your life at a place like Kaijong Company. He should be judged by the people of the Federation. We don't need such a genius. The commander answered, strictly following the laws. That's right. After all, the Federation didn't even judge. Compared to him, it's not that hard to condemn this minor genius. Cigarette ash smoldered and fell to the ground, as did a conversation between two veterans of the previous war. Absolutely nothing decisive. The capital of the federal government is Star City. Star City was one of the safest and most advanced in terms of technology and standard of living. Humanity has experienced incredibly dark times, with urban landscapes and metropolitan provinces emerging after urban reconstruction, but at best they were second-rate or even third-rate cities of the 20th and 21st centuries, which were even before the dark times came. However, the Star City, where the capital of the federal government is located, being a symbol of human rebirth, has reached the level off city of the future. A meeting of special importance was being held in one of the main buildings of this city. He's just a wild criminal. Dozens of people were killed overnight, and he also killed a level 6 professional. This is not just a mental disorder, but also a disregard for the authority of the Federation. Are we still able to kill people in such a brusque manner? Officials were sprayed before the president. The president picked up the report. The photo shows a young guy, but he was able to kill a level 6 professional. Apparently, he is very talented, said the president. So what if he's talented? The last thing our federation needs is such scumbag geniuses. The more talented the criminal, the more dangerous he is to society. If such a blatant violation of the federal order is not severely punished, how can people feel safe? How will they enjoy peaceful labor and peace of mind? He must be publicly punished so that others will not be offended. The official was angry, but there was only one thing on his mind. The Kaijong company is my source of income and da, and someone dared to cut it off. Although it is not so difficult to find the white glove, but who will make up for the damage for the lost time? Kia white gloves, legal intermediaries in the transfer of dark money, or legal guarantors of illegal cases. I know. Then send this criminal to the front line by signing up to the front ranks of the redemption squad. The president replied, isn't there going to be a public trial? But then, the official hesitated. The white gloves that I have placed in other places will be seen by everyone. If I can't use all my anger to punish the person who dared to provoke me, I'm afraid those dogs won't be so loyal to me anymore. He was afraid for his dark deeds. Let's not discuss this any further, we have more important things to do. Why hasn't any information about the mask been found yet? The director asked menacingly. The room fell silent. The man couldn't just disappear, he's obviously hiding somewhere probably somewhere close to us, somewhere very close. However, it's been so long, but we haven't found anything about the mask. Do you really think that one day the enemy will suddenly appear in front of us? The president asked. The chairman. Calm down, everything is fine. Right now, Musk doesn't have any forces at all, so what threat can he pose to us? We tried to calm the president down. No strength, you say. Then how did he disappear from the courtroom in an instant? The president was angry. At that moment, we all felt Musk dispel his own power. What could he possibly do with just a small portion of his remaining power? One of the officials asked. Yes. In addition, the ideas that we spread among the people are very effective. There are fewer people supporting Musk. Even if he really wants to take revenge on us, no one will stand on his side. What kind of threat would a person acting alone pose? Another agreed. HM, as long as it is not under our control, the danger is still there, said the chairman. On the other hand, I am now the chairman of the parliament and have the greatest power in the entire federation. Nothing can stand in front of me. But really, for the chance to kick that pesky mask out, I've given a lot of money and power to the council members here. The chairman thought, let's summarize, for the benefit of everyone, you need to find the mask and take it under control. Okay, let's move on to the next questions, said the president. The front line of monster retreat, as well as weakening the suppression of high-level secret areas. The number of monster incidents increased by 32% compared to last month, the first time such an increase has occurred since the formation of the Federation. One of the congressmen reported, These bastards can't do anything without Musk. Couldn't even hold out for one month. The president sighed, minus 32%. 
Then didn't we push Musk too hard? It doesn't really matter whether Musk plays the nominal role of savior or not. In any case, he won't interfere, said someone from the parliament. You, are you questioning our collective decision? The president asked. Are you dot 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 not dot 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 the official backed away? Can't our federation survive without Musk? Don't you believe in yourself? After all, we still have a large defense army, maintaining order and order in every city. Now that peace has been established, I'm afraid that their combat strength has significantly degraded. In this case, it is impossible to waste the Federation's budget and do nothing at the same time. Mobilize the army's elite and send them to vulnerable areas, the chairman ordered. Maybe, better not. After all, the defensive army is the last line of defense for most of the cities. They are needed to prevent monsters from attacking from secret areas or elemental levels. I'm afraid to send troops just like that. One of the officials was about to challenge the decision when another attacked him. HM, you speak so well, but is it really because you can't pocket money from the military budget? The Federation City Defense Force buildings are supplied by your family's company. Reducing the army will simply harm your life. Someone said, just like you, this is slander. The first official was angry. That's enough. It has been decided that the defensive forces will be mobilized and dispatched. Now that the monsters don't appear anymore, and the elemental demons haven't been seen for many years, reducing the defensive forces is simply necessary. By the way, deliver this criminal as soon as possible to the Star City. Just make an example of him, so that others will not be offended. The president decided. Dahi City Defense Forces Building Yang Kang Kang and Kang Lai were standing in front of the building's entrance, being escorted by the assistant commander. Okay, now we've checked everything out. All this really has nothing to do with you, so you can safely return home. If anything happens, of course we can call and get in touch with you. If nothing happens, you will be called to court as a witness. The assistant said. What other witnesses? Kian Lu asked. To accuse the criminal who committed the terrible crime? Of course. We are just putting all the materials in order and a case will be opened against him very soon. This is a major precedent that has attracted the attention of an entire federation. So you too should. The girl began. The terrible crime. Where did he commit the crime? He clearly wanted to punish those bastards. Kian Lu replied sharply. But, the blood of several dozen people is on his hands. There is nothing to discuss. Killing people is a terrible thing to do. The clerk said. Did the dreadful Zio you kill the most honest and respectable citizens? These thugs terrorized quite a few families, ruining and destroying them. If we talk about a terrible crime, then they are the main criminals themselves. The girl in the wheelchair answered loudly. You're right. These people had indeed harassed many families, and every single one of them was a murderer. The commander chimed in, coming closer to them. Commander Jiang. The employee asked in surprise, and Kian Lu clenched her teeth in anger. But even if they had to be torn to pieces, then we should have tried them first, not tried them for lynching. The commander said to the girl, Then why didn't you condemn them? Asked Kian Lu, like sunlight, which varies in intensity from dim to bright, there is also a light in the world that dispels darkness only temporarily. The commander replied, so we had to endure this darkness. The girl asked, the world always needs a sacrifice, said the commander. Really, can't we resist this darkness? Kian Lu asked with some hope. A gust of wind played with the hem of the commander's cloak and the girl's hair. The commander paused and answered, your personal confrontation will be unfair. If, even if you can't resist it dot 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 then the world itself is a mistake. The girl shouted. Kian Lu dot 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 my sister was worried about the girl. I've been through so many situations where nothing could be done. Right now, I can't be as indignant as Kian Lu. Thought Kian King. Sister, we're going home. The girl said. Okay. Kian King replied meekly. The commander and the soldier's girlfriend watched the sisters leave. If, if she can get up, it will be fine, said the commander. Why do you say that, Commander Jiang? The girl asked, although they usually say that anger is a sign of helplessness and not a source of strength at all. Only, if this power source had a rating, the girl would clearly have the highest level. If only I'd had the same power when I was young, the commander said as he watched the retreating figures. Her, the girl asked the soldiers and thought what's the use of empty anger. She wouldn't go any further than a wheelchair anyway. This is the so-called useless rage. The young sisters had already come home. Kian Liu, you rest in your room for now, and I'll go clean up the yard. And about Zio Q, I'll figure something out. Kang Kang said, leaving her sister alone. The girl was looking ahead. Sunlight glinted off the blue irises of her eyes. If there are places in the world where the sun's light doesn't reach, then I'll cover them myself. 
If the sun doesn't illuminate dark corners, then the existence of the sun is also not necessary. The girl's voice changed. She was shaking all over, but she got to her feet and started walking. In the hallway, the older sister was cleaning up the trash. Kian Liu, I forgot. The room is also a mess right now. Tian Kang was saying as she approached the porch, when suddenly her younger sister came out to meet her. You dot 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 you. Got up. Tian Kang cried out. My sister, rather, run, Kian Liu said, and huge branches suddenly burst out of her hands, glowing with green light. Defense Army Meeting Room this is a scandal. A third of the army has been mobilized. Don't they realize from above that this can cause a lot of trouble? Lao Yuan, stop whining. We haven't been mobilized. That's a good thing. By the way, the front line is also a mess. The order was issued without a declaration of combat readiness. A fifth of our company has resigned in the last two days, and there are still people who are considering whether to resign or not. If the requirement to send people to the front line is mandatory, I'm afraid that all these people will just run away. You're right. I heard that half of those selected immediately decided to quit as soon as they found out about it. The level of danger here and on the front line is very different. Officials and other big shots were talking about urgent matters. Today, all the officers came here just to chat. The commander started to say, but suddenly felt something strange. This aura. And not wrong. He said, looking out the window. Commander Jiang, what's out there? The young man next to him asked. The aura of a great demon. The commander replied menacingly. The, a great demon. No way, Commander Jia, you're joking, right? The great demon was destroyed by mask long ago. Ah, right, Commander Jiang. You probably made a mistake. You can perceive the aura of a great demon only from the remaining materials, so you can say that his aura is unfamiliar to you personally. All subordinates and other officers began to deny the obvious, and a commotion ensued. The commander smashed a stained glass window with a punch. Activate the emergency plan. Evacuate the entire DAW population. I take full responsibility, the commander said and jumped out of the window. DAW City lived at its own pace. There was a newscast on the big screens. A pretty presenter was talking about the latest events. Three days ago, thanks to the timely response of the city's defense forces, a criminal hiding in the Kaijong Company building was captured. No, she said. Near the pedestrian crossing, near the flower beds, a guy was standing. Spring has come. I wonder if the flowers bloom so quickly because of the warm weather, thought the guy watching the roses, but small buds bloomed right in front of his eyes. Huh? The guy didn't understand. While he was trying to figure out what was wrong, a bee flew up to the flowers, and the wind scattered all the pollen. The pedestrian light turned green, and people began to cross the road in the right direction. Brother, it's already green, let's go, called the guy standing near the flower beds, a guy in a blue jacket. He touched him on the shoulder, and when his brother turned around, he saw that his whole face was covered in flowers. M monster, ah, uh, the boy shouted, and in an instant, the touch turned him into a pile of rose petals. An unsuspecting girl stood nearby. The wind carried the petals to her. She caught them and thought, how beautiful. And then there were more of these flowers, a huge ball of petals and people with flowers instead of heads. There was a general panic. Don't panic. I'm already here. An unknown guy with a sword was running towards the monsters. This is a professional. We are saved. People rejoiced. And the guy swung and hit a huge pink ball. Huh? A monster that chooses to fight a master like me will only meet its own death. The kid said haughtily. However, he immediately noticed that he was infected when his hand turned into green roots. Didn't I kill him? So why? Is it an infection? Fiona shouted. Green glow coming from spores. Really? This? Isn't that a great demon? People understood. The entire street of the city was flooded with pink flower petals and monster people like a tsunami. What's going on here? Where did so many demons come from? What are the monitoring bureaus doing anyway? Asked the soldier who was heading along with the commanders. Commander Jiang, this can't be the second coming of the great demon. Those affected by the great demon's aura would rot in the blink of an eye. However, right now, they didn't rot or disintegrate, but instead transformed. The flower demons, the subordinate said, even though the influence of the aura is different from what it was in the past, but the intention to destroy and distort all living things is exactly the same. The guy thought, a team from the army landed on the roof of the building. Flower demons, appropriate name, but common sense doesn't apply to monsters. They can evolve and change beyond our imagination. Everyone take the street under guard, watch them from afar and don't let them spread. Be extremely careful. Do not come into contact with infected people. They are extremely contagious. Dot, 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 the commander gave the order. That's right. The subordinates reacted and started to execute. Everything was green. Help me. Save me. People shouted trying to escape. 
They're eating people, others shouted, and behind them, flower-headed monsters were engulfing people. Get down, stop standing, get on the ground, quick. The commander commanded and began to fill his lungs with air, after which he exhaled a powerful volley of fire to the whole street and burned half of the man monsters. Us, we are saved. People were happy, but the ashes from the burnt plants started to stick to them, and these people also continued to turn into monsters. Them, my, my, my face. The man shouted. Flowers abruptly grew out of his face until he completely transformed into a flower demon. The commander, who was watching, decided ash. It contains the aura of a great demon. Goth City was surrounded by demonic vegetation, and chaos reigned everywhere. It's just a green hell, Chief Arthur said in horror. Everyone stop using fire spells. Don't attack those infected with fire. Better focus on making sure that none of them fly out of the zone. They are extremely contagious. Even if it's just a small piece, it will easily infect and merge with civilians, said the commander of the city's army. Commander Jiang, what's going on here? Arthur ran up to him. As you can see, disaster. Arthur, you personally participated in those events? Did the great demon really return? The commander asked Arthur. Without any doubt, it's definitely a great demon. However, how could he come back? Arthur asked. Immortality. Only a very small number of demons possess it. Even if you cut them into pieces and burn them to ashes, they will still be reborn. Even in nature, there is a similar creature, a jellyfish, which, after reaching puberty, returns to its younger version. And then the growth process begins again, and this can continue indefinitely. And if it is not eaten, or it does not die from the disease, then theoretically the jellyfish can live forever. The fact that this type of monster has immortality was discovered only a few years ago. And since it's very rare, it's no wonder you don't know. Moreover, immortality is relative, and there is no such thing as eternal immortality. After all, if the habitat is completely destroyed, even the strongest demons will not survive. I didn't realize that the great demon was not only a disaster, but also an immortal. So it's likely that the aura he left behind was the reason for his resurrection. And it is different from the one that just corroded and turned people into pus. This time, she is able to mutate peddlers, as some demons can. Things got even weirder, told the commander. Those damn bastards. Arthur was suddenly angry. What do you mean? The commander asked him. After Musk destroyed the great demon, he told officials that they were responsible for solving this issue, to heal the victims of all manifestations of radiation to completely get rid of all traces left by the great demon in Doth City. They immediately agreed and even issued a military order guaranteeing this. But soon after Musk left, these same people completely forgot his instructions. Not only were they unable to get rid of the destruction left by the great demon lord, but they also embezzled the money that Musk allocated to provide comprehensive care to the infected. And the victims, instead of careful care and treatment, received only an even more progressive infection. If they had followed Musk's orders from the start, Arthur complained about the greed and vanity of the officials. Arthur, we'll discuss this matter later. Your monitoring bureau is able to track the energy fluctuations of secret areas and monsters. So what's the current situation? Did the great demons aura reach other places as well? Where is the epicenter of energy fluctuations? Are you able to determine exactly where the great demon is? The commander asked. His expression was stern and focused, showing that the commander could take any risk to protect the city, including his own life. Why would you do that? Do you really want to get rid of it alone? Commander Jiang, this is too dangerous. The great demon is a real natural disaster, a ten-level monster. Arthur shouted, hoping to talk some sense into his companion. I feel like there aren't any level ten monsters in Doth City yet. No, even the nine level ones haven't appeared yet. Right now, the great demon had just been reborn, and it had definitely mutated. Therefore, now is the best time to eliminate it when it has not yet entered full strength. Moreover, the great demon doesn't have any outstanding combat skills, but its ability to infect is incredibly strong, which is why it was assigned the level of natural disaster. In short, if we don't destroy it now, we'll have to pay a much bigger price later, said the commander. You, take care of yourself. Don't get infected by the aura of the great demon. I'll ask a subordinate from the monitoring bureau to send a map of the energy fluctuations, said Arthur, in the Star City. Breaking news. In order to strengthen the positions of the military on the front line and to ensure the safety of citizens, according to the decision of the council, part of the city defense forces will be deployed to the front line. Breaking news. In the southeastern administrative region of Doth City, in the third province, a natural disaster level monster is believed to have appeared. Local authorities are still coordinating their actions, the newsreader said. 
in Star City, news quickly spread on the internet and fans of discussing everything in the comments found a reason to get together again after the topic with the execution of Mask. Rock enthusiast, Da City, sounds familiar, isn't that where there was a natural disaster a few months ago? Young practitioner, I checked everything, it's true. One day, a great demon that destroyed almost half of the city was defeated by Mask right there. Long Di Quan, what about Musk? Why can't he figure it out? Isn't that what he's supposed to do? Jin Chang Young, have you already forgotten? After all, Musk has given up his hero status, and he has also lost his powers. Do you still think he can do anything? It seems that someone is stuck in the past. Brant Big Root, man, he's got us all fucked up. He's hiding somewhere and laughing at us. One for all, are you saying that if Musk has decided to give up, then he will? Is this even possible? Predictions at home. Wanjiu, soon the government will announce that Musk will arrive later and deal with this monster. Twilight Rider, I just got an evacuation notice and left right away. However, I managed to take photos from a close distance. The city defense forces were waiting for this green hell to descend on them, and then they were attacked by some humanoid flowers, like real zombies. Drunken master, is this arboretum really a natural disaster? Why do I feel like I'm seeing some kind of humanoid demons? Penlala, it's too much, don't you think? If this is indeed the case, then doesn't it mean that tens of millions of square meters have been affected by the disaster? Windy, can you tell me more? Is the situation under control? This is a prophet for agriculture, who has information about natural disasters. Twilight Rider, sorry, I got in the car, now I have some free time. Nothing is under control. There are more and more monsters, and the defense forces are simply not enough. Even with the help of professionals, the monsters are moving further and further. And yes, they really are people, they just turn into walking flowers. Some say it's because of a mutated great demon that was destroyed some time ago, and now resurrected. If last time it mutated from a person that was infected and could infect others, now the great demon is able to turn people into monsters. The commander of the Da City Defense Force personally killed a great demon. It's him. They wrote on the internet. Meanwhile, almost the same thing was being broadcast on the news. The commander of the Da City Defense Force has taken the initiative to single-handedly take on a horde of monsters. According to information from a reliable source, the level of monsters caused by a natural disaster is low. The energy fluctuations from monsters correspond to level 7. The commander of Da City had become a level 7 professional 8 years ago, and he had managed to achieve a lot in that period of time. For example, he participated in a battle against level 8 monsters. Our channel has contacted the media of Da City, and we will broadcast what is happening there live. Commander Jiang definitely deserves the title of a level 7 professional. These monsters can't even catch up to him. He stopped, had he discovered something. A cameraman filming everything from a helicopter was commenting on the battle. The commander stopped in front of the epicenter of everything. The main monster was standing on one of the buildings. Is that you? The commander asked. The girl standing on the flower smiled. It was Kyan Lu, pretending to be a god. Do you think you can make people worship you just because of that majestic appearance? I've seen a lot of people like you. The commander said. Some monsters specifically imitate religious images that have been on earth since ancient times, and which were worshipped by people. When such monsters first appeared, these tricks really made some people think that it was all a punishment from the heavens. Some fanatics are even willing to offer their necks to be killed under the spell of these monsters. There is no question of resistance. But when they realize that these monsters are not gods at all, but only pretend to be them, people quickly abandon this blind faith. Commander Jiang, be careful. According to the energy fluctuations, the monster standing in front of you is the resurrected great demon. Don't be deceived by her appearance, she is a real monster and the worst enemy of all mankind. Arthur was speaking through the radio link. I know, I didn't expect that in just a few hours when I didn't see you, you would turn into a monster. The commander said, looking at the girl who had just recently been in a wheelchair. Do you regret it? The monster girl asked. I'm sorry. The commander clenched his fists and lightning flashed around them. My only regret is that I didn't kill you when you were still in the wheelchair. The commander shouted. A lot of energy was concentrated around him. Lightning flashed here and there, and a little later, he quickly attacked the monster like lightning, taking off half of its head. Wow, Commander Jiang definitely deserves the title of a level 7 professional. The monster didn't even have time to react. The cameraman filming their battle commented. The commander stopped. The blow didn't affect her. He thought as he watched her regenerate. Ah, uh, ticklish, the monster girl said after completely regaining her head. The helicopter was hovering right over the scene of the commander's battle with the monster. There was no trace of the once infirm disabled girl. 
The girl's body was half covered in grass and there was a flower where one of her eyes should have been. She quickly recovered from the commander's blow. What a fast regeneration. The commander was surprised, but the cameraman filming all this madness was no less surprised. This, this is crazy. She just had half her face blown off, so why is she still alive? Isn't she just a monster? The operator shouted. What do you think of that? The commander did not give up and launched another attack. This time, his punch hit several parts of her body, pulled it right through. However, the girl did not make any attempts to evade, or anything like that. It just kept coming back, time after time. Is the light that dispels darkness really that weak? What is it? She asked the commander. Danger. I'd feel incredibly dangerous. Thought the commander and hurried to climb higher and away from the monster. Is that all your speed? The girl asked behind the commander's back. He launched an attack and escaped again. Is she faster than me? Thought the commander, but the girl again beat him to it. And you want to dispel the darkness with so much power. Funny. She whispered in his ear as she suddenly appeared at his side. He attacked her again and tried to gain distance for himself. People who are waiting for you to do it are afraid that they will die faster before you do anything, said the girl, chasing the commander. How is that possible? The operator was surprised at what was happening. It doesn't actually move at an incredible speed, and just changes the location with the help of plants. Giant understood, and the girl was still smiling, enjoying her strength. Commander, Jong, retreat. Hurry up. You can't win. It can't be killed until all the humanoid flowers are destroyed. So no matter how many times you attack it, it won't die. Now you can't do it alone. We must use weapons of mass destruction to destroy the entire infestation area. Arthur shouted over the calm. Are you still thinking that I can escape from here? Giant said to Arthur. It's pretty smart to stop flapping around knowing that all your efforts are in vain. The monster girl said. The wind was blowing. Everything was shrouded in impenetrable greenery. The commander took off his raincoat and took one last look at the medals he had received from Musk. He carefully folded the cloak on the ground. The state you're in right now, isn't it called a cornered animal? The girl asked. The commander took a fighting stance. He began to concentrate his energy, and after a while, instead of blue lightning, scarlet lightning began to gather around him. No dot 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 this is my way to die with dignity, said the commander, and from it, a scarlet pillar of concentrated energy rose into the sky. Everyone knows that professional elementalists can't completely neutralize the effects of an elemental, so using elemental forcing can lead to death. Really, Commander Jong is planning to commit suicide by using forcing. What is it? The dumbfounded operator asked. No, it's not suicide at all. This is a complete release of vital forces, the burning of which increases the level. How Jong, are you crazy? Arthur shouted, not understanding what was going on in his friend's head. Meanwhile, Giant suffered several burns. Full release. Increased the full body combat capability, bordering on death, in order to bring the strength to the maximum possible. With the release of such power, the seventh level can be compared to the eighth. But due to the fact that every vessel, every cell of the body is on the verge of overload and decay, after using this technique, professionals turn into ordinary people and can get sick. Some people are even paralyzed because they can't lift a finger. Am I right? The former Kyan Lu smiled. The commander quickly launched an attack. Useless. As long as I can move my mind, I won't be killed. Paramesh. His punch is faster than my thought speed. Monster thought as soon as the commander took off half of her body. The infection continues to spread, but so far the lightning is coping with the infection. It feels like every piece of skin is being destroyed and then restored again. A never-ending cycle of pain, thought the commander. It was obvious from his hands that he had contracted a demonic infection. Great. Commander Jiang has injured an elemental level monster. He's incredibly strong. This is the power of the city defense force commander. The monster was killed in just one hit. The ignorant operator rejoiced. No, the great demon is still alive. Our energy fluctuations have not disappeared, but their frequency is increasing. He's getting stronger. It's not a great demon. Arthur said suddenly. Boss, what are you talking about? His subordinates asked. Have you ever heard the legend of the giant Antaeus, dating back to before the Dark Ages? Legend has it that as long as he stands on the ground, he becomes invincible and can constantly draw strength from it. This mutated great demon is actually Antaeus. Tens of thousands infected in Da City. All of them are sources of his power. If you don't destroy them all, you won't be able to defeat the great demon either. Arthur was shocked, or rather shocked, by what was happening. She is one and yet there are tens of thousands of her. At the tracking bureau, everyone was alarmed by the chief's reasoning. It's one, but at the same time there are tens of thousands of it. What is it? One of the employees asked. Suddenly, the huge energy tracking screen started flashing red. 
energy score increases at an incredible rate. He had reached the maximum fluctuation level of the red secret area. The boy shouted. It has now become a level 9 natural disaster, and its power continues to grow. Daw City is finished, said Arthur. At this time, a half-burnt commander was standing on the battlefield. It's unbelievable. It turns out that human professionals can reach this stage by burning themselves. And Yevda also fantasized about being big and strong. Travel the world with a sword at the ready. Why can't you dispel the darkness you so confidently spoke of with such power? Why did you let so many innocent people fall into it? Why did you let them die? Kai and Lu asked in her monster form. Tell me why. Why? 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 The question echoed in every flower that surrounded them. Outside, the army was holding the barrier with all its might, between the infected part and the rest. Ugh, I can't take it anymore, one of the soldiers was saying. But suddenly, the flowers that had been bursting out until recently retreated, and went to the very center to their owner. Them, they retreat. The soldier said, Did we survive? I thought that was all. A friend answered him, Ha ha, ha da 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 ha. No, it's not over yet. The first soldier said, looking in the direction of the battle. What the hell is this? The soldiers were surprised. All the vegetation that had just spread out gathered at one point in the center, collecting Kyan Lu's huge body. The girl became as tall as a 30-story building. Next to her head, the commander was standing on the roof of the building. You're asking me why? All because of the cursed world. And in this fucking world, everyone is used to death. The commander shouted as he gathered all of his remaining power into a single attack. He gathered a huge lightning arrow in his hand and attacked. Of course, being alive is nothing new either. The monster girl held out her hand. Blood red lightning lit up almost her entire limb, making it impossible to tell what had happened at first glance. Did the man win, or did the monster still manage to win? At least in the news they decided that the commander won. There is a breach. Listen up everyone. Commander Jiang has defeated the monster. With his grand and triumphant victory, Commander Jiang proved that humanity still has a chance to overcome all these horrors. 